sawtooth wave is a signal that increases in amplitude or decreases in amplitude at a constant rate during a cycle. Then it starts over again. We looked at before that a sawtooth wave has harmonics relative to the fundamental frequency at both even and odd multiples. There's a built-in function in MATLAB for synthesizing a sawtooth wave. It's called sawtooth. It behaves very similar to the sine function and the square function. Let's take a closer look. Here are some steps that we can use for synthesizing a sawtooth wave in MATLAB. Many of these steps will be similar to what we've done before when synthesizing other kinds of signals. Create a variable for our sampling rate, 48,000 samples per second, and we'll calculate our sampling period, which is one divided by our sampling rate. We'll use a sampling period to create a time vector t, which has the time in seconds for each sample of our signal. Start at time zero, we'll go up by our sampling period. Say that this is a one second long signal. Next, we're gonna transpose t from a row vector into a column vector, just as best practice. You've seen this before, where inside a parenthesis, we're gonna use the colon operator, which will turn this into a column vector. Next, let's create a variable f for the frequency. Say this is four cycles per second. Now we can use the built-in sawtooth function in order to create our signal. Sawtooth function is part of the signal processing toolbox. Here, the name of the function is sawtooth. We're gonna put in similar kinds of input variables that we saw with the sine function. So we're gonna do two times pi times f times t. Let's assign this to a variable y, which holds our signal. Now we can plot t and y together and look at the resulting signal. So now we've got a sawtooth signal that starts at the beginning of each cycle at an amplitude value of minus one. Amplitude increases linearly as part of a cycle until it reaches a value of one. Then it's going to start over on the next cycle. So over a time of one second, we end up with four cycles. This is a nice signal to look at. Why don't we synthesize one that we can also listen to? So here, I'm going to change F to be 440 cycles per second. Now we can recall this same command, sawtooth, put in a different value for F, synthesize a signal Y. All it's left to do is listen to it. Sound, Y, and our sampling rate. So these are the steps that you can use to synthesize a sawtooth wave in MATLAB.